What's up, everybody? Uh, I am checking in for week two, and I guess three now at this point. Carnivore diet. Uh, I guess this is kind of a fail video. Uh, I got into, you know, at the end of week two, wanted some cashews, wanted some spinach. Haven't seen any problems. Haven't seen any problems with my uh, inflammation or my response. Um, I had some thoughts on that. I think um, everybody who's doing one of these diets, vegetarian, carnivore, you know, juice fast, whatever, I've done all of them. Um, they all kind of go the same way. First week, you feel like shit. Detoxing, alcohol, sugar, carbs. Week two, you start feeling good. Week three, you can just do it forever. That's where I'm at now. No processed stuff. Still eating tons of meat, mainly because now I'm in the habit of eating like 10 eggs a day, but... It's got nothing to do with liking eggs. I think all these diets have the same thing in common. It's not that you're eating some magic food. It's that the food you're not eating was poison. So you stop poisoning yourself and miraculously you feel better. And I think what's happened is people, you know, they adhere to one of these diets and they have this miraculous experience. And they take that as, well, that means that this is the thing, that this diet is the thing. All plants, that, that's the secret. And then you have the other guy who eats all meat, and he's like, this fixed me. This, the, this was, the secret is the meat. And it's not, it's not the meat, and it's not your kale or whatever. It's not having the alcohol, it's not having the sugar. It's eating food that your body actually wants to eat. Um, processed food is poisonous. And all these results are the same. Everybody's doing the exact same thing, but nobody's talking about it. They're all pointing at the thing that they're doing rather than the thing that they're all not doing. And everybody's got their own, it's like a political thing or a club or a social thing that people are into where they want to be part of the thing that's right so that they can shout down everybody else. And if you look at the comments of a vegetarian video or a carnivore diet video, you see it's just these two camps trying to tear each other apart with, well, who can link a study they found on Google up to make their point seem better to the other? It's all bullshit. You guys are all looking at the same forest. Nobody's seeing the trees. These diets all exclude sugar. These diets all exclude alcohol. They all exclude processed foods. That's, that's the secret. The secret is just not eating food that isn't food anymore. So I'm just going to continue to eat paleo like my ancestors did for thousands of years and I'm going to continue to get these results because that's what happens when you go on paleo and it follows the same pattern as all the other exclusion non-processed food diets that are out there if you're on carnivore and it's working for you god bless keep keep on trucking if you sit around and you eat spinach all day it's it's kicking butt for you then then run with it baby that's what's up but in reality all these people shouting at each other on YouTube Twitter and Okay, it's nonsense. It's not that you found the magic food. It's that you're not eating the poison anymore. So conceptualize a little bit better. Use your reasoning. It's not it's not it's not that meat is magic and shit. So I don't know. I'm I'm kinda I'm over the fanatical adherence to this diet thing that I kind of got into because that's just the that's just the tone of this conversation right now. If you're online listening to people talk, it's it's got to be all one thing or the other. And in reality, nobody's talking about the one thing that everybody's doing right. Everybody's doing the same thing right, plus eating non-processed food. Just stop eating poison. It, the rest is downhill.